my gosh, look at that artwork back there. <laughs> I had to investigate this. What is that? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well I am here today in Adamstown, Pennsylvania and I am at the Mad Hatter Antiques. It's been a while since we were here last. Actually, it was prior to their extravaganza. So I'm excited to see what we're going to find today because um, I'm sure a lot of the vendors were busy restocking their booths after that big event. So let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, so I decided to go a different direction than I have been. <laughs> Normally, I always go in the same, same way. Um, but we're going to check out this booth here first. This is uh, Tommy's former booth. But still amazing prices on things. $30, Yamparina Bowl. I like the looks of that bird. It's a pretty bird. $65 on the bird. Nice long blue tail. Alright, I do like this uh, satin frosted vase here. She actually just set this down. This is really nice. Oh, it's signed $48. Ooh, that is quite the signature. I really like that one. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick that up. Alright, so she is bringing that beautiful bowl up for me. It is signed on the bottom, but I'm going to have to try to figure it out before I list it because it's a little bit scribbly. So I'm walking through just one more time to see there's anything else that catches my eye but obviously there's a lot in this booth that catches my eye there's some beautiful things uh, since we just got started I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative with picking stuff up uh, but this is a really neat set look at that it's like it even has a Bakelite handle there $58 that is neat Ooh wee look at that it's a beautiful console bowl. $149 for the tray. And then they have $79 on the vase. Pottery vase right there. It is also Italian pottery. That one's only $68. I'm digging this vase up here. They have $99 on that. It's like a torso. Ooh, I totally walked past these crystalline vases. I wonder who they're signed by. I know hard to make out the signature through the glass, but I think we may find somebody with a key um, and at least get this Italian vase down here. That Murano vase. I'm just, I'll have to think about it. Okay, well here is the booth with all of the pottery that we love. I remember seeing this vase the last time we were here. That is a uh, Mara. And I had never seen a Mara vase before. I come across the mugs an awful lot, but never a vase before. Wow, look at that lamp. Checking the finial, of course. That is so cool. It's a pair. Look, there's one over here, too. Looks like $350 on the pair. I was buying those for myself. I'd definitely pay, pay that, but um, I have so many lamps, and I have a lot of Hager lamps, <laughs> so I didn't really need another pair. It really didn't take me very long at all to make my way back <laughs> to the mid-century booth that you guys know that I love. I was looking through here to see if there's anything new that strikes my fancy. I think this ashtray is super cool, but it's personalized Miriam and John. I feel like that's it's pretty like specific. <laughs> here is an art glass bird. I don't know, art glass bird. It's a very pudgy bird. And there's some Alaska cups there. A panther planter. I'm not seeing a whole lot as far as resale goes, but I always love looking through here. Here are all the really fun lucite 
hanging lights. Some crock back there. It's a whole lot of crock. <laughs> Here we have some really pretty amberina glass. A little bit of blue. I was checking out this bottle down here. Oh God, 1994. Oh, interesting. It still has its original uh, label there. Kind of reminded me of Steigl Glassworks. That's why my eye was drawn to it. Looks like there's some new Hager up here. This little guy. Brown raccoon planter, 35. Beautiful, beautiful lamps are still up there. Oh, goodness. If I was buying them for me, I would be all over those, but 125, 75, 95. That last one is only 55. This lighter here. Hager lighter. I didn't actually know they made lighters, so. It's pretty neat. This over there is interesting. What's going on with these birds? With a floral frog. Hager bird, flower frog, and bull. I've never seen that one before. Let me pull that down and get a closer look. That's really neat. Hmm. They have 95 on that, I think. just not sure at that price so I think I'm gonna put it back and I hope I don't regret it really fun oh my gosh Dell's <laughs> I remember in Rhode I when I lived in Rhode Island Dell's was like where it was at and we used to eat out of those exact same cups I wish I had saved them because now they're worth money it was actually Kat the nurse flipper who introduced me to the fact that these old vintage cups uh, when you find them they can be worth money Look at the graphics on all of those, those are so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that artwork back there. <laughs> I had to investigate this, what is that? Cartoon drawing, Ben Sterles. Hmm. There are a few pieces over here, what is this? Fish face, $12 on that. All right, so I just found this vase and I really like it. $11. And then down here, it's kind of a nice tin. It says blue players, navy cut tobacco tin. They've got $45 on it though. I like the looks of those shakers there. I have to figure out a place to set my vase though. Should be good for a moment. Cranberry shakers. Oh, pair of 75. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I did like them though. A bird vase in the back. $25. And you know what? It's made of glass. There's a milk glass bird vase for only $25. I think I'll pick it up for that. It's actually surprisingly heavy. I was not expecting that. I kind of did a double take at this cat down here. I thought at first it was carved wood, but it's looking a little bit more like uh, this metal with a copper on it. It's $325. Uh, before I bent down, I thought it was actually $32, so we're going to pass on that. <laughs> okay, this is the really cluttered booth that I love, but I have to be a little bit more careful now. <laughs> Squeezing through there. See if there's any new treasures in here, shall we? Oh, she's so fun. <laughs> Some artwork. What does that say? Made in Japan. Right, well I guess there's not much here for me except for that girl up there. My goodness, look at her. <laughs> is she a bank? No, she's just a, a figurine. She, 
I don't know, there's something like sinister about her face, but then cute at the same time. Very right, few trinket boxes in here. Elephant, $20. Hmm. It's a little less than I would expect to get from them, but not by much. I always love these paperweights. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, this one has shamrocks. The vase is awfully fancy, isn't it? She's made from porcelain. It looks like she has a repair at her midsection. I would assume because there's paint there. 85 on her. Oh, Venetian glass. Multa, $22. It's signed on the bottom. I have bought and sold this before. I can't remember how it did. I really love the iridescence on that, though. 22 I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just being very picky. Ooh, look at that paperweight. It's got a whole lot of gold in it. It reminds me of fishnet. Eighteen dollars. Let's see any markings or signatures on that. But I like the design of this one, and I like that fishnet look. Just forgot my number. Some pretty trinket boxes. Oh wow, that one's extremely heavy. Open. There we go. Oop, now it's shut. <laughs> they have $15 on that one. Kind of like the lizard more than I liked the figural ones. This one is 16. It's a Monet. Remember this one, Monet? It doesn't have a marking on it. I think I'll take this one with me. Now there are some fancy trinket box and paperweights. Look at that mushroom, crystal mushroom trinket box. $35 on that. Some pretty uh, egg-shaped paperweights. I had noticed some swan glass vases over here peeking up over the shelf. $75 on the orange one and $45 on the amber one or butterscotch. Some really pretty Murano glass in this case. I especially love that blue with the gold. That one in the back is nice too for $39. I'm just not sure I can buy it at that price and still flip it. Check out this miniature pumpkin. <laughs> it's signed on the bottom BB. How much is that? $15.95. I'll tell you what, I've bought <laughs> I've bought pumpkins at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. And they are spendy. Definitely spendy. So, you know what? I might pick that up. I don't know if I'll resell it or if I'll add it to my personal pumpkin collection. Okay, and here we are at Tommy's $5 booth. I always like to browse through here because occasionally I have found something great. Like these glasses. Those are definitely have some age to them. It looks like it's made in Portugal. Five dollars made in Portugal. <laughs> I wonder what this depicts. Is that like a building in the background? The deer are like, hey, check out that skyscraper. How oh, I missed these the first time, but there is a set of three canisters. They're twenty-eight dollars, and they have what appear to be maybe sunflowers. Now they're probably daisies. They're florals. Uh, there's coffee, tea, and sugar. And I think at $28, they're definitely worth picking up. Okay, well, I did go back for the vase. It was $68, and you can see it is signed there on the bottom. It's Italica ours. We've seen that one before, but I really love this piece. So I'm glad we got that. Okay, well, our total spend there at the Mad Hatter was $193. I've decided to bring you guys back here to the shop because that video was a little bit short. I'm here this morning for about an hour before I have to go over to the kids' award ceremony because this is their last day of school. 
so exciting. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go through some of the stuff that we purchased in our recent auction haul. I believe our total spend at this auction was 1200 or right around there. Um, and I bought, obviously, a lot of glass, like I normally do. So I'm going to go through um, at least one box with you guys today, and I'll show you what I bought. Here we go. Okay, if I'm being honest, this is the contents of two boxes. <laughs> because it was so fragile. Andrew was very careful to pack it all. Uh, so this piece right here is kind of a funny story because I saw it in the auction and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like something fantastic. And um, <laughs> Andrew and I were sitting out on the porch and he was watching the auction and he's like, oh, you're outbid on that. And I'm like, well, bid it up a little bit more. He's like, what is it? Who makes it? I'm like, I don't know. It just looks like it's really good quality to me. So <laughs> we finally got it back. Um, and I don't remember exactly what I spent on this particular piece. But I recognized the signature on it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. It's very faint. There's a signature right above the numbers here. And it's a signature I've seen before because I had a large, round, confetti looking frit glass vase and i've had it for quite a while it sold i think a few months ago um and i think it sold for 256 dollars so as soon as i saw the signature i knew oh my gosh that's something good because that artist's work sells for good money and so i looked up the sculpture and looks like it sold recently for about $400. Similar sculptures, not this exact same one. So I'm thinking that this one will be good. Probably a couple hundred dollars worth of good. Which is exciting. So <laughs> that is the sculpture. And Andrew believes that it's shippable. It's just going to be um, lots of packing materials. But, I mean, we've shipped $1,200 glass before. So we should be okay. My only concern would be right here where it attaches to the base. But obviously we'd reinforce that. I suspect this one is a bohemian glass. I really love that it has pink at the bottom and this green at the top and I believe that there is a term for that kind of glass that goes from pink to green but I cannot think of it right now. Obviously there is hand painted gold and the gold is still very vibrant. It's not terribly worn. A lot of the times when I find these pieces, the gold is just worn off over the years. So this was also very exciting and obviously it's quite tall. <laughs> it's over a foot tall, maybe like 15 inches. I'm gonna lay it back down though so it doesn't fall over. Um, this was in a lot and I only came across one piece but it has this beautiful aventurine base and this swirl, um, swirl pink and white. Uh, it's shaped kind of like a cornucopia, but I liked the foot on it and I thought, you know what, that could be something good. A lot of the glass I buy at these auctions is based on instinct and I, I seem to have pretty good instinct when it comes to it, so I'm just gonna keep using that. Now this here is a hand-blown vase. It's actually got some weight to it. I expected it to be lighter. Um, it is a ruby red, but there is a little bit of amber on the ruffles there, so maybe it's amberina, but the rest of it is ruby. You can see there is a poncil scar on the bottom where it was hand-blown, and I think there might be two of these, but I did not find the other one in the box. One of the pieces that Andrew was super excited about of course, I know nothing about baseball, but um, it is signed by the Musual, I think is his last name, Stam Musual. I think that's what Andrew kept saying. He's like, and I got this Stam Musual. I'm like, what? I guess uh, there was an autocorrect error in the listing and it actually said Stam Musical. So, so it probably didn't go as high as it should have. Um, and he thinks it's probably going to be worth a couple hundred dollars at least. So he was very thrilled with this purchase. And uh, like I said, there is a signature on that. So that was one of Andrew's purchases. He did buy quite a bit at this auction uh, for his booths. So I'm not sure what I'm going to come across when I go through these boxes. But um, obviously lots of glass. These are not all empty. I think the bottom two boxes are Waterford. I did purchase a lot of Waterford in this auction. Waterford does well for us. Um, I have I actually have one piece listed right now. I had 
always done auction with Waterford, but recently, like within the past six months, I listed one to buy it now. And I, I comped it out and I listed it, you know, around the average and it hasn't sold yet. So I'm like, well, maybe the, the ticket with Waterford is to actually list it to auction. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but there's goblets and little cordial glasses and all sorts of Waterford in those boxes. So I think these two, I'm going to have to clean up and get those listed. But that is it for this video. I think I'm going to save the rest of the boxes for, you know, a few days from now, we'll go through another box or two. Uh, but obviously I've got some good stuff at this auction and I'm very thrilled with that giant face. Somebody's going to love that. I don't know if I could have a giant face in my house, <laughs> but somebody is going to love it. I'm going to end the video now, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.